Hey everybody, Shama32 here. Welcome to the channel. We're here today to react to the sixth episode of season three of Kern Washington Spies. This one is entitled Many Mickles Make a Muckle. I'm so glad I could read that because I would not remember it otherwise. I'm surprised I didn't stumble over my words. I was trying to practice it beforehand. Try saying that ten times fast, especially when you're tipsy. What a tongue twister. Many Mickles make a muckle. That's more like Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers type thing. That one I can actually do, which I'm surprised at. But, um, oh, last episode. I'm, Townsend is awesome, but I'm worried about what's going to happen because his dad said he didn't want to see who Robert Rogers was going to be again. He could, didn't want to see that guy. And now Robert Rogers is basically inviting himself. But then he locked Abe and Mary in the, Seller, they managed to get out finally, and then they, well, they saved the day in a way because they went to Dad's house and said he's perfect, fucking perfect for Raymond. Like saying, like we got mugged, mugged by Robert Rogers and Sim Simco with oh with Thomas. I was so wary, but Dad's like, I'm hope I've still got hope. like these little tiny bits keep happening. I don't like that, but little tiny bits keep happening that make me think that maybe he might turn or start doing some good things. You know, I, I'm, I'm wor like wary of it. I don't know. And then um, Gamble's dead. But they couldn't get the information about all the other like the bits of currency, the drops, because he was it was self defense. Ben had to, but then Caleb got to get get some um, revenge. Ah. Oh, I'm nervous about what's going to happen. Second half of this season. I'm wary. And I'm feeling a bit flustered anyway, because I just found out something about an episode of something else I was watching. And it's completely thrown me. So apologies. But as soon as this episode starts, I should be fine. But it's just I'm, I, I get anxious about the show. I can't help it because it's so tense. But it's the best kind of anxiety, which makes no sense for me. But this show makes me tense, but I love it so much. It's such a good show and it's so underappreciated. But we're going to get going before I waffle on anymore. So if you enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Let's get going with the reaction in three, two, one. Let's go. What's burning? Apes. Where's this? What the fuck happened? Oh, three months ago. Okay. Oh, God, yes, this bit. Identified themselves as Queen's Rangers and then immediately set to wreaking as much havoc as they could. Shit. They slaughtered the animals. They're not dressed like Queen's Rangers. The Queen's Rangers are not known for their delicate touch, Father. Yeah. With Simcoe at the helm. I need only... My eyes, my ears, my wits. So you've yeah. chosen aside? No, no, they chose for me when they came into this house and dealt violence. Very true. God as my witness. They will pay. Oh, did not hurt the old man. Caleb. What? What? Framing the Queen's Rangers, maybe? Or, or, may oh God, please don't tell me they did that just to get him into it. Shit. After he robbed me, he ran off west. He kind of gotten far. He was wounded and uh, blind in one eye. I know. I blinded him. Falkoff pushed okay. towards the coastline, then collapsed your perimeter. And now Robert Rogers might say stuff that makes Simcoe. Um. Suspect Abe. Oh, I like Robert Rogers though. I like him as a character. He's so cool. And the actor's freaking legendary in my eyes. I really don't want him to die, but I don't. Like, Abe annoys me now. I like him as a character, but he annoys me. I don't want either of them to die. Simcoe wouldn't mind, but I know I have a feeling he's not going to. Oh, he's 
bleeding you into a trap, bud. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> he looked like he was enjoying that then. Take a circle till you come to your own tracks. You forgot my rural village. Yikes. Which is why we must now travel to Philadelphia. To, to Philadelphia? And you're going with me. Since there's no telling how many counterfeit bills are already in use, His Excellency's only remedy is to convince oh, no. Congress to recall all bills. No, wait, yep. Yeah. We, they do have that time. City, sorry. Culper Jr. obtained his intelligence nearly a week before we could act upon it. Sir, the route is secure. It's secure to It's as fast as we can make it. It's too yeah. late. Why not send Lieutenant Brewster direct to Oyster Bay? Eliminate the Setauket run. Nope, 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 nope. But that would cut Culper out of the chain. And reduce the transfer time by half. Many mickles make a muckle. <laughs> okay, there's the title. Rogers isn't the only man who can hunt. He'll stay off the main road, likely use the coastline as a guide. And if the other ones, some of these work with him, because he seems familiar with that guy, maybe they should, maybe they'll know some of his techniques. Probably didn't teach him all, though. Woodhull, you may return home. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Like, this show probably isn't the best thing for my anxiety, but it ain't worth it. Hey, hey, what you doing? Oh, Abe, you fucking idiot. Be careful. What's he doing? Washington wants Culper out. I need you. I need you to make contact with Samuel Townsend. Let him know the... Ah, uh, no, 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 right. no. Uh, that's going to be a problem. I know. It's not personal against Culper. It's a strategic decision. Yeah, I know. Decision. I can't do it. Caleb, I, I need to leave for Philadelphia. Ben, right I can't now. go to Oyster I'm Bay. No, I can't debate with you. Ben, fucking listen. Right, so... A couple of months Glad back, when I went to New York to get Abe out of prison. Uh-huh. He looks like a baby. You see, Culper Jr. was still on the fence. So I met him at his old boarding house. Then why would he risk his life to warn us of the hickey plot? Because after I left, we gave him a push. Abe knew the Quaker needed convincing, right? Oh, but this is a mess. But it worked, right? <sighs> The shopkeep joined the ring, didn't he? And, and if he finds out the truth, he'll quit. Yeah. yeah. He can never meet him. Abe's idea. To do that to Townsend. Yeah, he's definitely out. Oh, come on. Wonderful friend. I don't blame Ben for being uh, upset. I can't go to Washington with this. I agree. Ben. Oh, you agree, do you? Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. So what do you think we should do? Ben. She can do it. Send me. What? He hasn't seen my face. And if you have reservations about that, comfort yourself with the fact that this man has left you no choice. Hey, that's... True. <laughs> that look. <laughs> Very true. Sorry, that was such a sudden cut to black then. I thought something had gone wrong. He wants what? Bountiful monetary compensation and property indemnified his from any loss. getting in the way. Should he be discovered. And what is his risk? Nothing! If I am to stay this course, then I need to know that my demands will be met. I get it. I, I get it from both sides. He wants a battlefield command. Concern yourself with what <laughs> I want, John. Details on Washington's camps. Status of all rebel ships on the Hudson. Confirmation of regarding the identity of the spy named Culper. I don't know any Culper. Intelligence is Talmadge's business. Well, you know him. And why should I exert myself for Andre when he has done nothing for me? Because if you don't, this won't move any further. But Andre gets that he hasn't done anything yet. I don't trust him. I don't care how many times he ate at your father's table. Or how well acquainted you are with her sheets. Oh, fuck. Be careful what you say. When they are defeated, he will be branded alongside Washington as one of history's greatest traitors. Oh, I'm wary about what's going to happen with this. What are you doing? I don't know, Peggy. I don't know anymore. I get where he's coming from, but I get where the other side are coming from as well. I let my anger clone my judgment. Your anger is justified. You are in the right. He's very good at manipulating him, because I'm surprised he can't see it. As you said, Washington is coming. That's the key. He has the power to overrule this postponement. But he is riding here to meet with Reed and the rest of Congress. Yes, and before he does so, he will be obliged to attend a party in his honour. Here. And that is when I will convince him. I get, I get it where he's coming from. In that part, but ah, uh, I don't know how she's going to do this. If they want to buy something, check the price and take their money. 
I won't be gone long. Just headed home for the Thanksgiving day. Oh, that is going to be such a fucking mess. Oh, God, and Abe's gone there. Shit me. Okay, he's gone there to warn. What if Robert Raw bollocks? Oh, God. Robert Rogers is already there. Abraham. Oh, how wonderful. Did you bring the family? No, it's just me, I'm afraid. Oh, I made extra, just in case. All right, well. <coughs> Come in. <coughs> oh, he looks over happy. But then again, he is. The Queen's Rangers are moving down Long Island again. They're raiding homes along the way. We're going to have to go right now. Are we not being a little too hasty? Better safe than sorry. Oh, fuck it up. We're going to go stay with Robert for a while, all right? Robert might already be on his way here. Well, uh... Yeah. Why don't we wait until he arrives and then we can all go oh, together? Oh, this is such a fucking mess. It's making me so uncomfortable. I'm actually craning my head. To... Oh, fuck, everybody's... Oh, God, no. No, Caleb. Look, we did what we needed to do. All right. Oh, no, oh this is such a mess. Stay hidden. He cannot Just see now. you. Oh, balls. And they don't know Abe's there. Fuck me. Sorry. I'm... Does Robert have a key? Oh, this is a mess. Evening. Are you Samuel Townsend? Yes. Oh, would you mind if I come in? It's quite brisk. Yes, of course. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> oh, no. May I take your cloak? He's going to recognise no. her voice. His face like, what the fuck? It's all right, it's all right. Abraham is also a friend of my son's. Of course, I wouldn't expect two of you to know each other. Well, we, we do. do. Oh, this is a mess. My name is Anna Strong, and I have come from General Washington's camp in Middlebrook. And now uh, you have to go. No, I'm afraid you'll have to. I've come with news. Oh, well, it can wait. No, it can't. This is a mess. Oh, bollocks to it. Oh, God, this is so uncomfortable. And it's another reason you're being cut out. Cut out? Cut me out? Oh, God, and now Robert Rogers is going to turn up as well. From now on, the General wishes Robert's letters to be transmitted by a more direct route. I will be the new courier. You? Mm. <laughs> this is all very confusing. Yeah, it does seem so, doesn't it? First Abraham, then Austin Rowe, and now a woman? No, oh, bollocks to it. Rowe. Oh, bollocks. Oh, bollocks. Mm, I want to hide. This is so uncomfortable. No. Oh, no. I'm sorry, there's a lot of cringing and like, but it's not. Oh, this is such a tense episode. Oh, God, I'm gonna. I feel like I'll get a stomachache, you know? He's convinced he'll lose his nerve on the big night. Why wait till then? Just get it over with. My husband purchased four ounces of Spanish. That her wine sister. Her right before the thing fell off. <laughs> because, oh, God, I'm worried about things. Because if their friend turns up, oh, God, oh, no. And he finds out about the hairstyle that uh, John Andre. Oh, God, there's a lot of old gods and old Ford. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Of course. Your Excellency. Oh, May I present my fiancée, yes. Margaret Shippen, of the Philadelphia Shippens. It cannot be that this exquisite young woman is the same 14-year-old girl who sat across from me, <laughs> pushing away her string beer. He couldn't stop drumming his fork and knife at the table. Yes, this is a habit I'm afraid I'm still yet to break. <laughs> I love Washington. Right for you, Becky. I know you. My beloved. Six months is far too long. So good of our host. To admit you without is that his wife? Are you having a good time, Martha? Yes, yes. That's Martha Wash. Holy shit! Excuse me, ladies. Miss Redmond. Now, George, if I could have a moment. No, let him dance with his wife. He actually let showed him... the stones. Oh, God. That's his wife. That's so cool. We finally get to meet her. I said, be respectful in person. Show you're a bigger man. My God, look at the size of this place. Ben, eh? Oh, God, Ben's here too. Oh, God, I feel like I'm going to get a stomachache from the tension in this episode. 
You all right? You. What's wrong? Go talk to your sister. What's going on? Really, is uh, something wrong? If these new clothes the general insisted on. These are a little tight. Ah, he right, looks well, good. Um, why don't you go and do what you must? Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on his excellency. I think he looks fantastic. He seemed quite taken. Yes, well, we uh, we don't often see such beautiful things in camp. Ah, yes, soon to be Arnold, I understand. I'd expect nothing less from the intelligence major. Oh, she knows him. Good. My fiance speaks very highly of you. Oh, this he is very to awkward. command his respect. Oh dear. If he finds a... ah, two spies. <laughs> 